I'm looking to start a race war. How about you guys, huh? <laughs> shouldn't, have shouldn't have cheered. It was a test, you all failed, but we're gonna do it. We give it up for the very funny James Fisher Jr. and Bob Keen! <laughs> Now, before we start this next one, I feel terrible because there's another uh, member of our, our crew that needs to be introduced that I forgot to do. He's running the sound, uh, and he's also running sound effects. He's our very goofy, our very beautiful <laughs> Ethan Gianni, everybody. Give it up for him. <laughs> Ethan, give me your favorite sound effect right now. <laughs> Ethan Gianni, everybody. I love him. He's a sweet, precious boy. All right, if you guys decide who's going first. I'll be going first. Bob is going first. It's going to be seven jokes each. Roast on three. Everybody, one, two, three. Roast. So, guys, James's vibe is, uh, is church choir director that stares a little too long at your dad. <laughs> <laughs> like, James has a personality like if Get Out had a, like a gay montage makeover scene. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bob just looks like he free bases PBR. Uh, <laughs> you shoot up Hennessy. Uh, That's accurate, all right. <laughs> uh, Bob's so racist, he's missing teeth. Didn't nobody knock him out or nothing, but some of them turned black and his mouth kicked him out of the whites only <laughs> section. Roast battled one of my old molars. Uh, <laughs> guys, James is the kind of dude that gets friend zoned during a lap dance. <laughs> this guy, he dates around. Uh, every first date with him ends the same way. Uh, he gets to meet the girl's boyfriend. <laughs> My bad, I was looking for your teeth from that first joke. Uh, what, your brothers and sisters? <laughs> shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> they got the sugars. Bob thinks Mexicans are gonna come to steal his job, and I think that's being a little too hard on Mexicans. I think anybody in this room would love to have Bob's job. We would all love to borrow money from his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> With the dicks good, they don't charge interest. Uh, <laughs> uh, James was raised Jehovah's Witness and grew up to be a comic book nerd. Like, could you try stealing something cool from white people? <laughs> You was raised Catholic and grew up touching little boys. Fuck you. <laughs> James, you seem like the kind of black dude that has a cookout on Arbor Day. <laughs> and you look like a motherfucking background King of the Hill character. <laughs> look like you sell cocaine and cocaine accessories. <laughs> sure, what's up? At least I don't look like the only black guy that's allergic to hot sauce. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at the shirt. He doesn't season shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna take that from a nigga who thinks salt is spicy. Go fuck it. <laughs> I like congratulate Bob on getting his first TV credit. Uh, that's right. They bring it back to catch a predator. <laughs> Bob's so fat. When the police came in, he said, "Can I have these cookies to go?" Like. <laughs> James went to DePaul for college, but he went to RuPaul for a father figure. Uh, we all had a cartoon character that we had a crush on as a kid, like one to help us hit puberty. Like mine was Lola Bunny. Uh, Bob's was all of the Rugrats.
None of you are gonna sit here and act like Angelica doesn't throw it back, all right? So bad bitch. You see, he chose the white one. He was like, not the little black one, though. Fuck that. You racist bastard. James got in a bar fight once. Uh, he lost the fight, but did win a Tony Award for the choreography. <laughs> it's the middle of the act for a reason. Look. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just, you look like, you look like the racist neighbor on a Tyler Perry movie, nigga. <laughs> Except you don't, you don't like black women, you like women with black eyes. <laughs> it's uh, always a good sign when I laugh harder. Uh, uh, I know Bob looks like he was at the insurrection, but in reality, uh, he didn't go because they said no animals allowed. In, in his own words, if I can't bring the love of my life, then I ain't coming. <laughs> Oh, man. You might remember James, actually. He's been in movies. You might remember James from uh, Crying and Hugging Leo DiCaprio in Django Unchained. <laughs> he's, he's never been to jail, but 200 years ago, he'd be in the big house. I like how you so racist, every black person looks like I'm famous to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Bob once uh, said, <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Bob once said the best thing about looking like a divorced dad is they don't kick you out of Chuck E. Cheese when you're looking at all the pretty girls in the ball pit. <laughs> he sees everything when he's at work. Uh <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say the nigga who got a job is worse than the nigga who borrows money from his bitch? <laughs> All right, guys, last round, yeah? Sure. <laughs> just checking. Somebody has to keep track of this. Uh, guys, uh, James, I just want to tell you, it's, it's 2023. You can start hitting on attractive white women. <laughs> Last week, I seen this guy hitting on a fat white girl, and she shot him down because she said she only dates black guys. <laughs> mm. That's funny coming from you, Bob, because you know what? You broke, you borrow money from your girlfriend, you've been homeless before, you're a drunk, you fight all the time. I know you've done crack. You a bigger nigga than I'll ever be. <laughs> Give it up for Bob and James, everybody. Great job. I didn't job. know I was getting compliments. <laughs> Good job, guys. Uh, that was, uh, that was um, a little too long, huh? Yeah, you, you motherfuckers don't know how to count to seven. Yeah, that's, that was great. I do want to, I want to start with the resident Asian, Honest Kim. How do you feel about what happened up here? I like that you called him a bowler with a hard R. <laughs> Mola. I uh, I love the uh, the the bad black person, black person looking like a white person jokes tonight. So I gotta give it to the white guy. But you know, all the love to both of you. Please don't rob me after the show. Give it up for the white guy. One vote for him. Joy. Uh, I. Being Mexican, I should just vote for the black guy right now. But I will say, your comebacks were, were good. We're good uh, fucking, uh, what's your name again? Bob Keen. Uh, but that hot sauce joke fucking just flat out didn't make any fucking sense. Black people are not allergic to hot sauce. Like, it doesn't matter if you're roasting or what. But I gotta give it to fucking, I gotta give it to James because that, the black teeth shit spit him out of his mouth. That, that was solid right there, man. So I'm giving mine to James. James gets a vote. Robert. Um, yeah, I'm gonna vote for the black guy because he's black. <laughs> and, it's, safe, motherfucker. <laughs> and and he's gay. So I Pride Mark, motherfucker! 
Robert Kelly said you're gay. You gotta be gay now, dog. So, I was just looking at your hand movement. I didn't know. <laughs> or, or was it the long body suit he wore? <laughs> you really did wear a sundress. <laughs> Do me a favor. Can you, you can donate that to the other girl? <laughs> give, give, give her half of your shirt. I, I, think, I didn't know they made midriff tunics. I, listen, man, your first joke was fucking great. I mean, it was so funny. I wish you closed with it. But uh, I'm, I'm going to vote for you. I think that joke was the best joke I've heard so far. That was very funny. It was, it was really funny, too, to see the racist jokes and to see all these white girls in the front row go, Hell yeah. Give it up for Ebony and Poverty. <laughs> Living in perfect harmony. I like the gay black man, personally. But the, but the gay... <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, you never know. This might flush it out, you know? <laughs> it is Pride Month, goddammit. All right. <laughs> yeah, he, you, you look gay because it looks like your hairline was made by Etch-a-Sketch. <laughs> Fuck you, that was good, dude. <laughs> All right. I want to vote for the black guy, but it's not February. Uh, so I'm going to go Bob Keen. <laughs> okay, Bob Keen. Two and two. Right? Two and two. Uh, as a fat white girl, James has been trying to fuck me for years. <laughs> so I do, I, I'm not sure. I don't know. It could go either way. Because um, I'm also a carpenter, so I'm the most <laughs> masculine person at the table. Um, I don't know, man. James' written shit was so good. It was, like, so great. But then you couldn't come back to Bob's bullshit for shit. And I was like... What is ha so I don't know I like feel really tossed on this uh, but the yeah that's, I don't that's the word it was a toss up toss sure I love that all these don't filthy say fucks around him yeah <laughs> all of you were like butthole butthole my asshole um, James I think I gotta go with James just because the tooth joke is as someone who's had to have a full tooth removed from their head it's the best bit three and two James gets a vote give it up for him. Aaron. What's up, guys? Um, both of you did really well. Uh, Bob, I don't want to say anything bad about Bob. I don't want to hear about him on Facebook tomorrow. <laughs> I've never seen the guy perform. But I just hear stories like, Bob Keens knocked a guy out at a bar, the manager, for his open mic. Anyways, yeah, I, I heard things. Anyways, both the jokes are really good. You leaned harder in. You guys both leaned into the racism stuff. It just rolled more off Bob's tongue when it got into the yo ma. I thought, the mo I, thought I was going to hear grape soda after molars, and I didn't, but it was going there. You know what I mean? So sorry, I'm gonna give it to Bob. Okay, Bob Keen, 3-3. Three, three. Tiebreaker Bandwork. This was a fucking great battle, dude. It's like old Kanye fans versus new Kanye fans. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I like that old Kanye. My vote goes for James. Okay, James wins it. Give it up for him. Great job, guys. Great job. Let's keep it moving. These are